You have also, you know, spent a lot of time in hallway tracks, talking to people, customers, partners, users. Um, talk a bit about what are you hearing from them in terms of where they are with their cloud foundry journey and how they are looking at Kubernetes. I believe in the Kubernetes ecosystem, there's um, a very interesting effect. Some of the problems, they seem to be solved. You know, there's nobody actively looking for it, although they aren't. So, for example, I've been addressing you in, with you in conversations the problems that large-scale vendors have with Kubernetes adoption. So this is basically still uh, the case. So how do you make sense of operating a large number of Kubernetes clusters? And also, if you remember, one of the big challenges with Cloud Foundry was always or has always evolved around how to manage data. So you got this thing that gives you the application um, deployment experience, you can horizontally scale everything, you have the build packs, the lifecycle, manage uh, your applications, but how to do that with data? Now, we've invented the uh, Bosch-based virtual machine automation, 99 data services, uh, you know, the package of several services that gives you a means to efficiently manage data in the way you do the Cloud Foundry runtime using Bosch. So it's one operational model across the board. Now, how does, how does this work in Kubernetes? You, know, you could either integrate that existing virtual machine automation and tie that to all your individual Kubernetes clusters, which is the way to go if you already have a Cloud Foundry, for example, and you're extending your platform with Kubernetes. However, if you are in a micro region where you don't have that op opportunity, then the question is, do you need operators and do you want to store data on Kubernetes natively? So whether it's a micro region or just your strategy to go all Kubernetes all in, that data problem is unsolved in the Kubernetes community to this day. You will, you will find a numerous open source um, you know, operators that will do um, a fairly good job. But if you want to manage them at scale, and let's say 10, 10 different ones, they will all be different in the way they are operated. They will all be different in the degree of maturity and um, will come with different backup and restore strategies. And sometimes they even don't have it at all. So it's still the necessity to have something that covers your data, you know, with that relational database system of your choice, the message queue, the search and analytics server and so on, that'll provide you with the operational efficiencies to build large scale platforms because the heterogeneity of all those tiny pieces um, in the Kubernetes universe, that it creates a tremendous effort to put a platform together. So I think that needs mitigation. We need, we need more technologies that will allow for that operational efficiency and also well-curated sets of you know, tools that will help to address the data management issue.